हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम रोहित फ्रॉम टैलेंट बैटल आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन फॉर आवर न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द इन्फीटी क्यू प्रिपरेशन गाइडलाइंस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इन्फीटी क्यू एज यू ऑल नो दैट इन्फीटी क्यू हैज लॉन्च द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बैच प्रोसेस इन दैट केस इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डील विद द प्रिपरेशंस द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दिस वीडियो इज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ इन्फीटी क्यू स्पेशल मास्टर क्लास फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स सो दैट दे विल गेट एन हेल्प एंड वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर दिस इन दिस वीडियो प्रोवाइडिंग यू अ स्ट्रैटेजी हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द स्टेप वाइज स्ट्रैटेजी एज वेल एज सम सैम्पल क्वेश्चन प्रीवियसली आर सैम्पल क्वेश्चन सो दैट यू विल गेट एन आइडिया दैट वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर देर एंड हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर फॉर द सेम सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो first discuss about the rules which are offered by the infitq system engineers role with the package of 3.5 lpa specialist programmer role with the package of 5.5 and digital specialist with the package of 8 now once you clear the certification round there are two rounds as you all know once you clear the certification round the 3.5 lpa package will be there but if you want to go for the higher package you have to go for advantage round so we will be discussing both the things which concepts are important in certification round and which concepts are important in advantage round and how to prepare for the same so first one certification round as you all know that you have to choose any one language out of this java or python and in certification round you will be having two coding questions based on the language that you choose if you choose java you will be getting questions related to java or python if you choose python as well as 10 mcq questions each on this particular programming language and 10 questions for dbms will be there fixed so you have to prepare for basic things related to the java or python the language that you choose and dbms as well so that you can solve 10 mcq questions related to the database management system so i have listed some of the important concepts here if you prepare accordingly for this concept then easily you can crack the certification round as well see the concepts are very easy you are very much familiar to these also the concepts of arrays how arrays are there working mechanism of arrays implementation of arrays then similarly it is applicable for strings and functions the number conversion process basics information about data structures and algorithm that is also important because some of the questions are asked on these as well and java python is already there so if you completely working on these concepts thoroughly with the help of the strategy that is i'm going to provide in the coming slide then you can solve this you can con complete this certification round in a very easy manner and you can get the opportunity of 3.5 dbms right so i have identified some of the key concepts here on the basis of previously asked questions right so if you prepare according to this then the same type of questions or you can say concepts can be added and you will be easily going to clear that round also so table properties then data types which are the different data types and the working mechanism of that also the key concepts like what is the working of primary key secondary key foreign key we will be adding all these in our master class also separately then the commands related to dcl ddl and dml join concept clauses where clause like clause and all keywords operators normalization concept is also important and the mongodb part so when you see the sample questions that i will show you you will get an idea that which concepts they are going to use in which manner right but don't worry we are going to cover this in our case then related to java and python these are the important concepts based on the previously asked questions right see the class abstraction concept exception handling flow control mechanism this is very important which is common in both the cases then the data structures like queue dq array inheritance access specifiers and iterators this will be related to the java and similar kind of things with python like decision making looping statements then the data structure part related to this linked list queue dq the priority queue is also there in most of the cases they have also focused on the questions related to the priority queue exception handling hash function class abstraction and inheritance so if you prepare these concepts properly then automatically you will be able to clear the certification rounds and we will be taking a thorough practice in our master class also 
first you will be getting an idea about the conceptual understanding fundamental conceptual understanding and then we'll move to the hands-on sessions for coding as well as solving the mcq questions based on these concepts the advantage round is little bit different right you will if you clear the certification round the offer of 3.5 is with you but if you want to upgrade the things then you will go for advantage round where again the same strategy is there you have to choose any one of the language that you have done and the three coding questions will be there based on the difficulty level see you can see here question one is of 50 marks question two is of 75 marks question three is of 100 marks so out of this the difficulty level is going to get increased and here the role of data structures and algorithm comes into the picture so how you increase the difficulty level the concepts of like dynamic programming greedy approach algorithms backtracking algorithms Kruskal's, Dijkstra's, these algorithms, implementation of this, the problems which are related to the implementation of these algorithms will be asked over there. And apart from that, the data structures basics like pointers, arrays, time space complexity, searching sorting concepts of algorithms, then recursion is an important concept, then the working mechanism of linked list stack queue, like merging of two lists, this kind of problem statements. Uh, how we can uh, create a stack using queue or the vice versa case how you can implement the priority queue the tree data structures and graph data structure is also the part of the same thing hashing concepts and heap concepts so these are the important things based on the previously asked questions if you prepare thoroughly for this easily you can deal with advantage round also but the hands-on coding practice is required so that's why i have created a three-step strategy for you if you follow that strategy easily you can deal with the InfiTQ entire process and this is what the strategy that i'm talking about the first important step that you have to take is you have to clear all the fundamental concepts related to these programming languages whatever the language you are going to choose for the examination make sure that you are very clear with the basic fundamental knowledge of that language and don't worry if you are not able to do that in our master class we are going to do the same thing right so stay tuned for that Apart from that, the DBMS concept is there just for 10 MCQ. So we will be adding this extra in our master class where we will be thoroughly dealing with the DBMS concepts. Those are important from the InfiTQ point of view. After that, your second step is once your basic fundamental things are clear, just implement them with the help of programming so that you will be getting a practice of hands-on coding. The same thing you have to apply in your InfiTQ examinations and same we will be working in our master class also. So once you implement those concepts, it will boost up your confidence and so that you can clear the rounds. Okay. And the third one, the revising thing, which will increase the uh, overall uh, ratio of success that you have to practice the previous year questions. If you don't have it, don't worry. We will be providing it in our masterclass also and we will be solving it similarly with you in the hands-on case, the practice of previous year questions. If you follow this three-step strategy, then easily you can clear the InfiTQ process. Now let us discuss about some sample questions. Now in this video, I'm not going to uh, solve these questions. I will be just showing you the questions and giving you the idea about the concepts that they have asked and how you have to prepare for it. It's very easy. See, this was the DBMS question asked in MCQ case. So the concept of MongoDB was utilized here. In this question, you can see tables are provided. And on the basis of this given query, you have to choose the answer. And in this query, you can see the concept of full join has been utilized. So if you are aware about the full join concept, you can easily solve this question. See, the second one is also similar kind of thing. Tables are provided with some data. And on the basis of query, you have to check the output. Now you can see here where clause. So I have given you the identity, identifying the idea about the clauses in the DBMS, which are important. So if you study those clauses, you can solve these questions in a quick manner. See, this question is related to the primary key information that which are the false statements from the following in regards with primary key. This was related to the alter table. So all the commands of DDL, DCL and DML, if you work on these commands, then easily you can solve questions similar to this. This was related to the Python. See, the function concept and apart from that, if and else. So control flow statements, looping statements, flow control mechanism. These are important concepts that if you are preparing for the same you can easily solve the questions related to that this is related to the java you can see here the annotations are used here the concept of annotations and simply how function works how the data has been passed so mostly they are interested on the basis of how you understand the logic flow of the program if you understand that properly then you can predict the output of that program also 
this was related to the exception handling concept right so once you understand the exception handling and the flow of the program you can choose the output wisely here so that how try block works how cache block works and how finally block works but don't worry about these things we are going to cover and solve these questions in a very thorough manner in our master class this was related to the queue if you understand the working of queue data structure that how the element is inserted how the element is removed from the queue then you can solve this question in a quick manner this is also easy this is related to the again function set right? you have to identify what will be the line number 1 what will be the line number 2 and what will be the line number 3 so if you understand the flow mechanism that how function works which function will get called how the data will be transferred from one function to another function what is the use of this keyword in this entire code then you can choose the question choose the proper answer related to that okay so these are some sample questions now moving on to the coding round so i have also added some questions related to the coding part also now in this question see the number will be provided to us and we have to deal with the concept of palindrome so if you are well aware about the logic of palindrome then you can easily solve this particular case but it is a mix up like uh, the difficulty level is like uh, we, you can say a little bit on higher side because it is a combination of operation not only palindrome you have to find but you have to add that number with it reverse and then you have to check whether the sum of that number is palindrome or not so this type of problem statements are provided and sample input output cases are also there so we will discuss how to approach such kind of questions in our master class how to solve these cases another question i have added is related to the array operations so if you are aware about the array concept and the working mechanism of this array concepts you can deal easily with these type of questions also so array is also one of the important concept then matrix operations but not only matrix operation but diagonally vertically horizontally how you move in that positions of the row and column if you understand the logic behind that easily you can solve these questions so slowly the difficulty level increases and the conceptual understanding if you have basically then it is very important so that easily you can solve those questions right so i hope everything is clear to you don't forget to join our master class infiniteq special master class the link is provided in the description box and stay tuned with talent battle for more updates related to that and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you